Nearly one month after a deadly shooting at a Wausau cemetery, employees there are still dealing with what happened. Thanks for joining us. I'm Phil Aldridge. And I'm Melissa Langben. News 9's Victoria Saha had the chance to talk with Pine Grove Cemetery workers today, joining us now live in Wausau. Phil, Melissa, definitely a very tragic morning here on October 3rd at Pine Grove Cemetery. A shooting that left one beloved manager dead and two others hurt. Today, I got the chance to speak to workers on just how difficult this past month has been. That was one of the worst days of my life. Jan Eberts keeps Patty Grimm's picture on her desk, remembering the woman lost and how it could have been the other way around. It should have been me because I'm older. I have my grandchildren. I have my great-grandchildren. The morning of October 3rd, Jan was supposed to be working at the cemetery, but she called out sick. I kept texting Patty. And I knew something was wrong because Patty, even when she's out walking, answers her texts. The Pine Grove Cemetery was practically Patty's second home. She walked the cemetery every morning. She started about 6 o'clock and ended about 8.30 and then came into the office. And it was at 8.30 when she got shot. A shooting that shook the community. When you saw Patty come into a room, she always had a smile on her face. Deeply impacting those still working. Pat Haskins is filling in as manager. The roughest day was the first day coming in here and sitting in her chair at her desk. Employees putting their grief aside to help others dealing with loss. You're just never prepared for that. But you, I think you, your recovery is probably a little quicker because you, you got to reach out to other people. You can't spend a lot of time on yourself. But there is a missing piece from the cemetery, unable to be replaced. Patty Grimm was somebody that really valued the importance of the Pine Grove Cemetery. So much so that Alan says Patty knew every single monument in the cemetery. And even though she's gone... And it, it was like coming into work. It was, she was here. She wasn't sitting there. They say Patty's guidance and love for the cemetery will live on forever. Still definitely very hard to grasp everything that's happened. And again, that shooting did leave two people injured. One cemetery worker is still in the ICU. And the man police say is responsible for that shooting is in jail on a $1 million bond. And they say he is a former employee of the cemetery. I'm live in Wausau, Victoria Zaha, News 9, WAOW.